Hello Creative, welcome to another tutorial session with the Magic Maker and myself. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the types of graphics designers that we have. Because if we are going to be looking at the different softwares and the different things regarding graphics design, I feel it is only proper for us to know that there are actually categories of graphic designer. Then you can actually pick your niche. So, let's make magic. Shoot up from your browser and you just go on Google, you type on types of graphic designers. Graphic designers. Graphic designers. Alright. Now we go to 99 designs. This is where we are. So there are eight types of graphic design you need to know. And what is graphic design? Graphic design is the creation of visual compositions to solve problems and communicate ideas through typography, imagery, color, and form. So by the time we see, we see that the first one is visual identity graphic design. So these are the people that are in charge of branding, and that has to do with the brand, your car, you want your logo on it, you want your brand on it, you want the mock-up, you want the presentation on a bag, you want the same logo, you want it on a food flags, everything like that that has to do with your business, that is branding. So the visual identity graphic designers are in charge of that. Then the next one you have is marketing and advertising graphic design. So anything that has to do with advert placement, anything relating to marketing and advert, these are the kind of graphic designer that you just go to there, you go to designers. Now you can see the samples here. We have on vertical wrap, signage, menus, banners, and things like that. The next thing we have is UI graphic design. So UI UX, user interface design. For user interface design, these are the people that do the modeling of various applications, various websites, before those websites are even given to the front-end developer. So the owner of such particular projects will be checking with the UI designer if they actually like what they are saying. So it is during the UI stage, that's when all of the corrections are made regarding the layout, how they want the whole website or the whole application to appear. So after all of the corrections are done in the UI section, then it is now passed to the front-end developer, the back-end developer to make their magic. So the next one we have here is, uh, okay, let me just show you examples of that. So if you check your screen, um, let's go to this. So I did some, some UI design for AL online. So let's see, I'll show you the design itself. Now, when you look at the design itself, it seems like there's nothing much to it. It seems like what, there's nothing much to it. But by the time we now go to the presentation, let's go to L at post and you look at this is the same design, but now it hasn't placed in the mockup. So this is UI design. Okay, so imagine AL wants to actually build an application for the kind of courses that they offer. We can do all of the correction of how all of the layout and all of the buttons are going to react in this particular stage. So this is one and I have another version here in this space. So this is under on still the same UI design, okay? This was done in Photoshop by the way, and if I don't tell you, you wouldn't know, you think it was probably done with Figma or probably under software that you know, maybe XT. But then you can do UI design with almost any graphic design software. The only thing you can get is the UX, which is the micro interaction, the little animations that you can do with Figma and XD. Okay, then let's go to media. Now the one I've shown you is for mobile application. Then you now have the one for media, which is a web layout. So by the time you check it, this is not really looking much. This is supposed to be for your IG. When you're scrolling, then it's going to be like a complete web page. But then I'll show you the design itself. So this is it here. So you can see that this is a UI. So you can now scroll. You can see that it is seamless. So that's why it was broken down like that. So this is an example of a UI design. Okay. UI design. So that's what we just looked at. Then you have publication design. There's one I did for AL again. Okay, I think I did this. I've completed this yesterday. It's okay, wow. Well. So this is the first page. This is the middle page. So it's a four page layout. This is the middle page and this is the back page. So I'm going to show you how the presentation is going to be or the mock-up when it has been printed. So if you check four page layouts and we check outputs, by the time we check the one with the front, you can see the way it looks, right? So this is publication design. And it was done with Adobe InDesign. And you can see the one with the back. Mm 
you can see it right here. So this is placing it in the mock-up in Photoshop anyway. Now, the other type of graphic designers that we have, so publication design, books, newspaper, directories, annual reports, magazine, catalogs. Packaging design is another thing. Soap, which other one, Botsu, Flax, and that has to do with a package, and that has to do with a product. That is what you have in packaging design. So you can see it's here. Wine, any, any anything relating to businesses, basically. So the next thing we have here is motion graphic design. Basically, motion graphics, there are people that are motion designers. So by the time you watch some videos, there's this particular one now um, that is on AO's YouTube channel. So let me, let me go to my channel. Uh, I think I have a video here. So let's check here. This is the video here. So I want you to just watch. So that is what you call motion design. Actually, the old design was done in Photoshop. Then I exported it as individual elements, took it to Premiere Pro. Then I added keyframes to it to make it move. So that's just like the basic knowledge or the basic concept of motion design. But basically when you're downloading motion graphics from maybe a website that you have subscription to, you'll be able to see that they have animation already. It is graphics, but then the graphics are animated. That is the whole concept of motion design. So title sequences, events, credits, where you're watching my YouTube channel too. You're going to see there's a title sequence, there's a credit, there's animated, this, there's a trailer, there's a presentation. Promotional videos to like adverts, so it could be done with motion graphics. And you can see them here. You can see them here. So motion graphics. Now, another thing we have here is um, environmental graphic design. A very easy example is murals on the wall. So if you look at what you have here now, these are ads to make everywhere look very beautiful. So. This is environmental design. So these are still different kind of graphic designers. But I guess this is in more of relation to architecture. But then any graphic designer can work with white space and actually make this happen if you actually know your onions. Then the last part you have here is art and illustration graphic designers. So these are the people I like to call the NFT gods. <laughs> so in the days of NFT or in this current dispensation where NFT is actually selling. It is a business for graphic designers, basically. Graphic designers, majorly. So T-shirt design, graphic pattern for texture, is all that. So it's not until you start drawing cartoons, it's not until you start doing animation. When you do design for shirts, even if it is just typographic, calligraphy, it is what? It is art and illustration, basically. You have graphic novel, you have stock images, you have album art, and the rest. So these are examples of what? Art and illustration. Now, the essence of this video is for you to actually know all of these things and decide, okay, well, I want to pick in each year, I want to focus here. But then for somebody like me, I do everything. And I'll show you, I guess you must have seen, you must have seen my brand with Fash. If you check my IG page, Rocky Robot Bond, you'd have seen that, okay, well, Rocky actually does everything that is it, even down to illustration. So I'll just show you a few before we call it a wrap. Opera downloads. Rocky. Um, Okay, Fash. F for Fash. Okay, Fashionista brand. Let's, let's just check some things in presentation. Um, let me show you which one do I want to pick like this typography. Okay, th this this is designed for clothes. Typography. So, combat design. So all of these things. I actually mimicked one of Louis Vuitton's designs to recreate this from scratch. So this is what we mean by t-shirt design, cups and I want to show you a new timeline. It's a new timeline I want to show you. New timeline. Okay. Exit mockups. Now look at what we have here. So this is my design. First did the concept, then I did the design. So this is art and illustration. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an NFT related design like um, a monkey or somebody's head. So this is at an illustration still, okay? At an illustration. So you can decide that, okay, well, you want to learn all of these things. You want to be 
all the kind of graphics designers that I've mentioned, then you know that you have a lot of work to do like me. I like to call myself the ultimate visual designer. Yeah, visual designer and compasses, but a little bit of video as well. I like to call myself a visual designer because I can do basically almost everything you have here. Let me check if there is, which one can't I do? Which one can I do? Because I actually started with that an illustration. If you check my initial post on IG, the first thing I started doing were artworks, cartoons. So motion, I can do motion design I, because I edit videos basically. And that video I played for you before from years online regarding motion graphics, I edited it myself, everything. So I do publication design. And basically, okay, I'm still learning UI UX, but then you saw the UI I did with Photoshop, but I'm still learning Figma. You see that I have Figma on here, and I can actually show you some of my projects. So the reason I'm actually showing you this is for you to know that everything is possible if you actually set your mind to it. So if you want to be all the type of graphics designer that you want, then it is possible if you set your mind to it. So this is just like a basic wireframe, so I've not done any big, big project yet. But then UI UX is just the last thing on my list to call myself the ultimate visual designer. Three months later. And I hope you've been able to learn something new in this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Recommend my channel. Don't forget to engage with the social media as you see on your screen. I look forward to seeing my next video. Thank you for watching.